Hi, welcome to the second day of Discover Boating Miami International Boat Show. It's a mouthful there. And um, here inside the convention center. So this is our second day. We're gonna be looking at some of the smaller boats. But there's some bigger ones in here also, and I wanted to do it here to uh, bring you, this is kind of like the main, well, like the main section, one of the main sections of the boat show. Um, years ago, this is where they always had it, here at the convention center. The convention center went through this whole totally being redone and uh, that's when the boat show moved over to Virginia Key over by Key Biscayne so anyway let me turn the camera around show you what I'm seeing here oh. every inch of this place is being used a lot of boats you've seen before on this channel such as Aviar right here are indoors even cigarette racing and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Okay, guys, I, I thought also to do the live stream from here because in the I did a, um, a bunch of videos, like including the Supercon, and the streaming was beautiful in here. And I, I just had, I was just asking somebody over at Aviar to, to pull up the channel and give me a thumbs up if the stream is looking good, and they did, so awesome. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about today. Um, didn't get that much done today. I got here very early. Got here at like 10 o'clock in the morning and I was scheduled for a um, sea trial a cigarette racing and went there, did all that. The only thing was um, I, I wasn't allowed a video because there were some uh, high-end clients that came on board and so videoing was prohibited for that and we were going to then have like another sea trial but then um, somebody else canceled. So anyway, um, it's gonna probably we're gonna try to do it later on this week So I'm gonna one way or another we're gonna get you a sea trial footage of Cigarette racing, but I did try go on it. <laughs> I did go on it. It was amazing the Tirana I was out there for like probably like well over an hour. We went far. We were just just amazing experience out there And I can't wait to bring you guys that but in the meantime, let's look at some of these boats in here I'm gonna turn it around one, Go and uh, yeah, let's just take a look. I'm gonna let's. I'm gonna actually bring you guys over to Cigarette, so we'll take a look at those boats. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't schedule any kind of live stream or anything because uh, you know, I wasn't sure that I was even gonna do a live stream today. But I just kind of decided, like, uh, with everything kind of running later in the day, not to start taking a shuttle bus to the mainland to like all the boats in the water figured let's just uh, let's just try to make this uh, convention center day Oh, yeah, I haven't edited this video yet, but I covered one of these at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, the Axapar. So you'll be seeing that soon on this channel. There's also an upstairs area, so if you're coming over here, don't miss that. You can take those escalators right there. A lot of accessories, retail, things like that up there. There's also the front of the convention center, outside in the front, is also being utilized as part of the boat show. They have the AquaZone set up there, they have electric boats, and a whole bunch of other things. That's where like all the food options are, all the food trucks. I didn't see any kind of food inside, really, the convention center, except like some, uh, like more like snacks, coffee, that kind of stuff. But yeah, all the food options are out in the front. Plenty of center consoles, by the way. And I know in the on the other stream, I might have said that uh, 40 feet and less, that's kind of how it was touted on the information. But there are plenty of boats that are more than 40 feet inside. And straight ahead is Cigarette, Cigarette Racing.
And yeah, we'll have to uh, have to get you that footage though. It was amazing. Cigarette is also selling tons of their merchandise here. And I'll just take you inside, show you a little bit of this. Hi. Have you heard everybody under the glass? I put myself on glass. That was November 1st. Cigarette has a really nice display. The way that just every every inch of this is done with that huge screen, very dramatic. Five hours a day. And every time I hear the Miami Vice theme song, it's just like so nostalgic and so epic. Now the one I was on, the Toronto, they don't have one of those in here. That's like the biggest, biggest one that they have, I think, pretty much. Most luxurious of the cigarette boats. But I'll uh, be sure to put some preliminary footage where you'll get to see it while it was docked. I'll put that maybe on uh, Instagram, a few shots of that. Let me just go up here. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside here so you can take a look. This is a 32 and it's a stable It has been busy. It's been packed like that all day long over there at Cigarette, right next door to them. Another Miami center console legend, Midnight Express. Let's go take a closer look at that. Also inquire if Midnight Express is doing any sea trials. Now, I know I've told you the sea trials are generally... All of those boats are over by the Sea Isle Marina, just north of Harold Plaza. But actually, for Cigarette, we went to a private marina somewhere else right here in Miami Beach to do that. Are you doing any sea trials at the show? You are? Okay. Do you have any uh, uh, information on what we speak? I'm just doing a live stream. I'll, I'll give them a call later. Thanks. And there's a boat over by sea, the uh, Sea Isle Marina area. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so I'll call. Thank you. I love these as well. And that express, beautiful boats. We'll have to, um, excuse me, I'm just going to no just get a shot this way. So anyway, how are you guys enjoying the footage? I know there's just a few people watching. I know uh, hopefully more people will tune in. And uh, how does everything look? What do you think of the boats? Regal. Always liked Regal. 
Take a look at some of these. I forget what the model was, but they, I think, stopped production on their largest model a few years ago. That I think was um, one of the videos I did, like when I first started the channel, where I was sitting on the front of the boat. I think it was that particular one. I don't know if it was like 47. This one is 1 million 154,000. I'll take my shoes off, we'll take a look inside. It's nice about this, you don't have to worry about falling in any water. <laughs> no, but it is interesting seeing them on dry land because you can go underneath the boat really kind of, you know, if you're, let's say, you know, really seriously considering buying something, you can really inspect it, every section of it. And then some boats, some companies have the boats in the water as well. And then sometimes they also have the sea trials. So like for example, um, Midnight Express had a whole bunch of boats in the water, not even for sea trials on the section I saw, but just to, just to have them, you know, in the water we can see them. They have them in here, and then they do have, I guess, one or so for the sea trial. Yeah, I remember some of these Regal when you close that sliding glass door, it's just like totally soundproof in here. And then some have the skylight that opens, which I think this one does right here. And it's, yeah, it's just like lovely. Is that this or not? No, maybe not. I didn't check. Oh, no, it's a flybridge. So no, it's not going to have the convertible top. Yeah, basically. Basically, yeah, if you're, it's a flybridge and you miss out on that really cool feature with the... Um, Sunroof. Oh, okay, uh, Richie Rich. Are you going to be at this other location? Which other location? You mean where the uh, boats are in the water? I'm going to be sticking here for today because, you know, it closed. Before you know it, it's going to be over at 6. Tomorrow it'll have extended hours till 7. But it takes so long getting back and forth with the shuttle bus. I just figured stay here, cover some of this. Yeah, and don't forget also that what you're... You know, what you're seeing in the live stream is not all my coverage. I'm doing a lot of coverage at all these shows, but I like to bring you guys a live stream to give you, you know, a feeling of it in the moment. Actually, let's go back inside. We didn't even look down below the that, deck. That 30 has 12 of pinches in it for the B drive. Okay, welcome everybody to the channel, to the live stream. Hope it's coming in nice and clear. Please show your appreciation by smashing the like button. Hopefully, the signal won't cut out when I'm inside one of these boats. See, that's locked. Trying to see where the head is over here. Okay, right here. Another room down there. And oh, you said thank you for the videos? Oh, my pleasure. They break like everything else does. <laughs> no. You have the joysticks on joystick on yours? Yeah. So it's, it's a it's a push and a twist. Yeah. Oh and this one has the outboards on it. For for the regal boats I prefer it without the outboards. So okay, like this one's gonna have that convertible top right here that I was talking about. Oh, this is very different from the Regals I remember. It feels kind of like a center console. Okay, that's just like a manual one. Some of them have a power sunroof that's really nice. And uh, let's continue on to some other boats. Walk around the convention center. So that's so weird. You got carpet instead of water.
Hey, welcome, Frank. I'm just gonna hold my shoes in my hand so I'll just uh, go around and hop on some more. Okay, let's see, Glenn. Uh, hello, watching from the UK. Doris said, really enjoyed enjoying the video. Oh, great. So happy to hear that. And like I said, guys, I don't know, you might have tuned in later. Sometimes when you jump onto a live stream, you're not seeing it from the beginning. So just to recap some things. Uh, today, didn't get too much done in terms of coverage because had a very exciting sea trial to go do. And here's where it gets kind of weird. Did I go on the sea trial? Yes. Could you see the footage of it? No. It's uh, cigarette racing, and uh, due to some clients on board, I was not allowed a video. So we're going to have to redo that another day. But they did still invite me to go on the ride and just enjoy myself. And oh boy, was it enjoyable. Those boats, I've never actually been on one moving through the water. And wow, is all I can say. So smooth. Like... It, it just was was like we were going like seven over 70 miles an hour and it did didn't feel like when i've been on some other boats where it was much rougher it just was amazing but we are going to get you that live stream one way or another team at cigarette are awesome and uh, they were apologizing about that but uh yeah they can't wait to see the footage i'm going to do also they're kind of fans of the videos i do so that's really cool and uh, I even have a video that I haven't edited yet of cigarette racing over at um, an Art Basel event back in December in Wynwood, where you're going to see famous graffiti artist Alex Monopoly paint on the side of one of the cigarette boats. So also, guys, if you see a boat that you like, like you see a brand or something in the distance, like you say, oh, Four Winds, go to Four Winds, just let me know. Just leave a comment. Try to make sure you're not, like, rewound on the video. Don't, like, pause anything because then you'll be, like, all out of sync. If you start commenting, I might be, like, 10 minutes ahead of whatever you're talking about. So try to keep, make sure the, the uh, everything's, like, all the way to the right so you're at the most recent part so that your comments will kind of be, like, in real time. Let's take a look at these intrepids, perhaps. Yeah, and I'm hoping the live stream's uh, handling well. I did the Supercon from here. I think it went like four or five hours straight on the live stream, and it just was beautiful here in the convention center. So I'm hoping this is as well. This is the 477 Evolution. I think I did cover that before. I think. Oh, yeah. We have a semi to get to the water, so. Yeah. That's, that's a good way to do that's, it. That's the, the end of my towing capacity. We've got a. One of your bait wells over here. No so. problem. It's not sure or anything smaller out of the water. But even that, you know, it's 12 8 feet. A little window so, there. You know, if you're going to take it down the highway. And that's 43 feet long. Does it does the does it need the 450s? The to... refrigerators down it doesn't here. Doesn't need them, but it, why not have them? That's what I said. Oh my God, you guys are all. You can do three 600s or two 600s. This will probably be one of the heads over here. I'm assuming. Oh, so what is that? The this boat, I'm sure. Loves the sleeping cabin, maybe. Two or three, right what do we got going on in here? Oh, okay, let's see. The head is over here. Okay, there's another door there to access it. 
Uh, Brian, this is a skylight I was looking out down before from. Okay. Got a pretty full size uh, galley. I see Arc saying great uh, quality view, excellent. Uh, could you please give us the price? Yeah, I'll take a look at the price on this boat as soon as I go out of last. Sometimes they have them listed, but not always. So yeah, there's that one head. We came through that way before. That's nice, the window as well in there. It's got one burner only. And a microwave. Fridge is a nice size. Let's take a look at how that freezer works in here. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to go find out about that price for you. How much, how much space do you have in there? Oh, that's nice. Pretty big. Cedar line. The starting is about one point four to one point five. One four to one five on the forty seven. Yeah. Walk like around this. first. Uh, they, they call this uh, tri tri Do you know how much this one is? One point four. Thank you. Okay, so this boat is one point four million. Your speed. Your speed. It's weird, it's kind of rocking like we're in the water. Let me get a shot of this side also. Oh wow, see how big it goes? I didn't even, it goes all the way through there. It's massive in here. They use every single inch of this convention center and then some. Oh, and then we have a pair. So we can go down this way also. I'm just going to get my shoes back on for a second. Might do more walking before we stop. So let's see. Oh boy. I did kind of look at that. What is what was this brand though? This Chaparral. This I've never seen. Let's take a look at that before I head off to the right. Formula is over there to the left. What is this one over here? C Hunter. Very few companies are listing the prices. I know Regal always does, as we saw before. Let's take a look at this. It seems to be their larger offering. And yeah, if the live stream is working and hopefully that reset I did help, then perhaps even when I'm at the main portions of the show, or I should say the in-water portions, I'll try to um, do a few more live streams as well. Even if it's just like one hour long, that'd be great.
And just to know, um, if you are planning on coming to the show, just understand there are multiple sections to it. And uh, definitely, definitely use that website that I have in the link. I'm mean, going to link of it in the uh, description. MiamiBoatShow.com. Definitely check that out before heading here so you kind of get an idea of where maybe you want to park, what section you want to go to. I mean, if you're interested in only the in-water part, I would say, you know, park on the mainland. Um, I'm over here by the convention center on the beach side. This is where all the dry stuff is. But uh, parking's really good over here. The parking garage for the convention center is uh, $2 an hour with a maximum rate of 20. That's pretty good parking. And remember, shuttle service and water taxis are free to everyone coming. Oh, outer limits, all right. These just have that serious, like, racing look to them. No, no. No frills, there's no cabin, there's no uh, there's no head, there's no you know lounge seating, it's like look at that. Buckle in. Let's see the stats on this boat right here. Todd might have there's Chris that owned no ship performance. Right, Chris. Todd, is he still in Chris business? Is, Chris is. Um, they don't really deal a whole lot of boats anymore. Really? Uh, Michael, their head mechanic, is actually over there. That was there for years. I mean, help. He had the same shop. It's beautiful. Parking there is where? Parking where is $100 by the water? Wow. But you know, they even have um, parking all the way by the, the uh, Marlins Park. I don't know how much it is. But uh, like I said, the one price I do know is right here at the convention center, $2 an hour. Uh, top speed 137. I wonder what that feels like. I don't know if you, any of you have ever gone fast on a boat, but it's just like a totally different feeling than going fast on other things. You start getting, even even on the cigarette, it was very smooth, but you, you, there's just that feeling, you know, that kind of rocking, that kind of popping up and down, slapping the water. It's, uh, it's an exhilarating feeling. Excuse me, are you doing any sea trials at this show? Um, yes and no. Is there a card or someone I could speak to afterwards? I'm just on a live stream right now, so I can always call. Oh, it's going to be until the end of the show. <laughs> is there anybody? Yeah. Give me a call. Okay. Really don't. This is this is yours. That's mine. Okay, but even if it's something like that. Yeah, got the water. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And like, where is our limit space? Uh? Crystal, Rhode Island. Oh, okay, Rhode Island. Okay. So, okay, okay. that's the easiest place. <laughs> and it's far from here. Yeah. <laughs> but beautiful boats. Thank you. Yep. I love it. Oh, that's one of the enclosed ones. I was I was asking about that before. Did 100, wow, plus in a formula. Felt like you're on, really, wow. Yeah, I mean, I just was showing that footage now. I'm, I'm looking at it going, I don't know about that. 
it's just I mean that one that one little like like extra wave or something those things could flip it looks you know terrifying in that sense but it's exhilarating still I don't know I, I probably would just wind up going on it being a thrill seeker myself so what was so you said it felt like you were on concrete that's amazing Boy, they were really like hidden back there. I didn't even notice outer limits. Really hidden behind these bows. And hopefully if you're coming down to the show, this video will kind of help you kind of know where things are. To kind of give you an idea like where we kind of started before with the uh, Cigarette and Midnight Express. That's like the back left corner. You know, you walk into the convention center, you're walking in, that's all the way to the back left. We're heading out of the back right and then we'll kind of work our way toward the front. Oh, regulator. See, they have a whole bunch of boats on the water by Sea Isle Marina. Yep, see? See all marina. Oh, a fountain, okay. Yeah, I did a video of some of the fountain boats. Those are very nice. I think I covered them a year ago or so at uh, Fort Lauderdale show. What is this one called? St Stamas Yacht? Huh. Not familiar with this one. Okay, here's the pricing. This one's called a 33T Aventura, Blackfin, straight ahead. Contender. Contender's the company that does the catamarans too, right? I think they were a best of show contender a few years ago at Flibs. Pretty sure it's contender. Am I thinking of another boat? No, I think it's contender. Okay. I'm checking to see if any of them are catamarans. So boat there. Which one is that? Oh, that's what is it? Kamas. Oops. Am I thinking of the right boat? Does Contender make a catamaran? No. Oh, they don't. So which company is it I'm thinking of? It's not Contender. Okay. Invincible. Invincible, then that's who it was. Okay, thank you. That's what it was. Thank you. Okay, I made a mistake. Yeah, Invincible. I think I edited those videos back to back, so I keep getting confused as to which one's which. Invincible is the catamaran. Okay. I definitely co covered Contender as well. Chris Craft. Did a few of those at Flibs. 
It's gonna be Grady White to the right, I mean to the left. <laughs> Grady White. They always have this display at Palm Beach, not Palm Beach, at uh, Fort Lauderdale. It's at a convention center with these white trees. So you always recognize it immediately. Here's a map of everything. So just to give you an idea, when I said like how you, when you first walk in the main entrance, so the cigarette was all the way there. We've been just kind of walking through this section. Then we'll just kind of you know, cut through. Maybe we'll do the rest of these posts and then come back that way. And then they have a whole bunch of things outside in the park in front. We could always try that later in the live stream. That way in case the signal goes bad or whatever, at least we've seen everything inside first. Follow. Somebody was telling me about this that I think somebody uh, I was speaking to owns one or knows somebody that has one. Major Deja Vu. Everglades. And again, guys, if there's a boat that you know of that you want to see, um, especially if it's something inside the convention center, let me know. I'll head over there now. If it's something that's in another part of the boat show, still leave a comment. And I could always uh, look into that as far as getting some coverage in the days ahead. Here's a pricing. 1.5 million for the 455cc. Let's see which one is that. This is a 335. Do you know what This is a 385. Here. We I guess that pricing then maybe they don't have that boat in here and it's just for the miniature display that we're looking at. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep, 455cc, so it's this one. This one is 411,000. Two hundred fourteen thousand for the two forty three CC. Boston Whaler here. That will be first hall. What? Sometimes there's such a delay between the comments that I'm not sure what, what that would be in reference to at this point. I'm oh, not making the 43 CC anymore, okay? The boat, this boat is great. So Rich, what is your favorite boat? So I'm not making the 43cc anymore, Everglade, but I'm, I'm sure, I think you typed Everglade right when I asked that, so I know there'd be more of a delay when I'm asking what your favorite boat is. Yeah, guys, leave comments. Let me know uh, your thoughts. Now, even uh, if it's not a matter, not like a specific model, what type of boats are your favorite? Fast center consoles, you know, the giant luxury yachts. Like when I was speaking to some people here, I was uh, having lunch before, and I was speaking to some people from Switzerland. Uh, they were saying that they are not fans. Oh, Solace 42, okay. They were saying, yeah, the Solaces are really nice. I have a bunch of videos. I have one, I have one video on that, and I covered their new one. They made a newer version also at this year's flips. 
But uh, anyway, the um, people from Switzerland were saying they're not big fans of the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show because it's all just big, big yachts. And uh, they're more interested in the smaller boats, center consoles. One of them said he has a cigarette boat himself back in Switzerland. Yeah, when I was speaking to Cigarette about some uh, things, they were telling me that there's quite a lot of people that have them in uh, lake regions where they do a lot of racing. I'm always thinking of it as being the kind of boat that, you know, you have to be near the ocean or something. But, yeah, there's a lot of cigarettes apparently in, the, in uh, some of the lake waters in uh, the U.S. How are we doing on time? 4.55, okay. So that's good, we have another hour. Oh, you have an HCB 39? How much they are now? Okay. I'm trying to think where I saw it. HCB, I don't even know if, you know what? I don't know if HCB is in the convention center. I actually was talking to them uh, yesterday. They are at um, the Herald Marina. They have their boats in the water. They don't have any sea trials, but they I think they might be exclusively showing in the water. I, they might, yeah, I have not seen them at all in the convention center. So, okay, the HCV 39, so um, when I'm back there, I'll check that out. I think eventually I'll have to start with something like this. I did this one time, it was so much fun. Now they are on the, yeah, yeah, they're at the Herald, exactly. Are they giving any prices here? No. I was asking before about pricing, I was told uh, everything ranges, I think the Least expensive is 7000 which I was shocked. I thought they start more than that, and they said it'd go up to like 17000 These are a pontoon-style version. Yeah. that floor and it almost looks like these are removable panels or something something going on there oh here we can get a view of it from the side How about a walkthrough of the biggest, baddest boat there, in your opinion? Um, but one walkthrough I've done that I have to uh, edit, but you guys have got to see this boat. It's the largest boat I've covered on the channel. At Flibs, Denison was presenting the Four Roses, a 185-foot ocean fast, and it's an impressive boat. It took like over an hour just to walk through it. So I don't know, that would be a pretty cool one. And then um, I love, you know, as far as like the speed and the look and the whole nostalgia, I just love cigarette. I just love those boats.
one is 116,830. This one is 176,665. Let's take a look at this one. It shows that this one is sold. How much, how much is this one? 1.7. 1. 1.7, thank you. So this one, 1. 1.7 million. Oh, hey, Sneaky Ninjas. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks for sticking in with the live stream dilemma yesterday. But uh, like I promised, I put up that higher quality one. Which is another reason I like to use that app that I do. Prism. That's nice. One of these days, one of these days, a boat. Let's get my shoes back on. Okay, let me see. That's nice, great paste, quality vid. Thank you. I'm glad I, I wasn't gonna even do a live stream today. I'd say the, uh, the whole thing, like where it was just kind of like later in the day, I said, you know what, why don't I try to do it, try it again, 
hopefully it's gonna work this time. <laughs> and uh, this was my original intention yesterday was to do the live stream from here. Okay, wait, now we were, yeah, we walked this way. We came from that side, we saw that Everglades. Let's turn back to the right. It's amazing, just a little light on the floor. It, it like, gives it this uh, vibe that's so nice. A little accent lighting. Those little touches really can make a boat look, you know, very dramatic. Okay, Scarab we had looked at to the left. It's just Malibu boats, I think. Oh, Axis. Oh yeah, there was a sea dew. I just want to go back and show you guys. Oh, here, Malibu. It's like a fishing version with a, a high seat in the back. So showing how the speaker's working underwater. Yeah, this is the one here. Oh, what happened to the chair? There was like a big chair in the back over yeah, there. Yeah, I just put it down so oh, you okay. could see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you mean that one is the one that goes up higher? Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the oh. same chair. There you go. Okay. I wanted to show them that. Thanks. No worries, man. Do you know how much this one is? Price at 18999. Okay, 18999 guys. Thank you. Okay, what is that? Kama's 341, please. Oh, so perfect that you asked me now while well, I'm at a map. It's perfect. Let's see. Kama's boats MB1586. One five eight six MB one five eight six. It's got to be somewhere in this area, right? So one, oh one five eight six. Oh, okay, we did pass it before. Okay, I'll go back there. So I'll do this. Let's just go through like this section here, and I'll I'll go. Let's see MB one five eight six. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll head over that way. Building, yeah, it's massive. But I'll tell you something, as big as this building is, I, I think that that convention center in uh, Orlando must be bigger. I'm not sure. I, I went there for IAPA, which is like the whole theme park industry trade show, and they had like like actual roller coasters inside of the building. But yeah, this one, it's, it is big. Here's some vehicles, Hummer. Trying to show you how it's got the letters in there. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, right, you're in Australia. Yeah, well, you know, they're now saying that I guess this boat show might be the largest boat show in the world or something like that. Because don't forget, they combined, they combined the two shows into one, the Miami Yacht Show, the Miami International Boat Show into one. Um, Aside from that, for, for many years, Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show has been known as the largest in-water boat show in the world. So yeah, you know, just these, these two boat shows are like the biggest. And then Palm Beach will be coming up next month in March, and I'll probably be going there as well. Did that last year for the first time. The Palm Beach one is um, a nice size. It's not too big. It's, uh, it's really nice, like, like the location of it, how you can like go to the main streets of the city and like eat something out there, just like walk there and walk right back to the show. Yeah, I like, I like Palm Beach. Let's actually cut through, let me see. Oh, we did go that, yeah, we'll cut through this way. Brisbane. It's probably covered in other videos, but what setup we're using for live streaming. Yeah, I'm just using my phone. I have a Samsung uh, S20 Ultra 5G, and 
the, uh, the the important thing is you know like the service from your carrier. I, I'm using T-Mobile because they've always been you know going on about how they're the best 5G network. But um, yeah, sometimes some areas like South Beach it just doesn't uh, work in, and sometimes there's just there's all sorts of weird hiccups. I think um, yesterday's live stream maybe was just like a data thing where I had to like clear out all my network settings. But um, yeah, just the phone, and then I'm using a gimbal stabilizer. And when it works, it's a beautiful thing. Because I really enjoy talking to you, my audience. It's a great way for us to like talk back and forth. Um, it's just, it's just you know, there's no editing involved. We're just going around. You know, you might suggest something. I'm going to head over to that boat. I just love that whole uh, organic like style of that. Well, let me see. We're in the back now. So where is it? Kema's. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, I did see that before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you're asking about, let me see, just got to go back up to it. Okay, Blake Wyatt is asking about the Kamas 341. Okay, I have to go, oh, somehow I'm stuck in this section. <laughs> let me see. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's perfect, great. Oh, it's 8 a.m. Friday. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, it's so much fun when, you know, when the live stream just works and, like, we could just focus on this instead of me going, is it working? Is it working? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's just great. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I would love to be able to, like, cover, you know, lots of live events and just, and just do it live because even though I'm sitting there, like, painstakingly editing, editing it, and then it gets up like a week or two later, it's kind of, some people might just be like, ah, you know, I don't care, it's over with. Okay, so let me see, what was the model again? Let me scroll up. 341. Okay, let's take a look. I'm not familiar with these. Is a 341 here? Oh, okay. Oh, so this is a 341 you're asking about. Let me take off my shoes so we can look at everything on there. Yeah, right, you bet, good to see you, buddy. Okay, Blake Wyatt, so here here you go. You requested this boat. Price is 479900 Yeah, let's hop aboard. And the same thing we just looked at over here. And that goes far back. Oh yeah, oh. absolutely, Blake. It's nice, feels nice. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this boat. So this is something new for me. What is this over here? Uh, let me try to put the camera down so I could see what's doing over there. Oh, okay. Good amount. Of, whoops. Stabilizer just went crazy. Okay. Yeah, good amount of storage in there. I don't want to slam it. Let me put it down carefully.
Let's check also how we're doing on battery here. Okay, I think we're okay. Yeah, seats fold down. Just like you see over here. Now we'll just go around the outside of it so you can see it from that view. What are you saying there's screw editing? We all, well, it's normal, I expect. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, that, that, that makes my day hearing a comment like that. Really, thanks. Thank you, Sneaky Ninja. Yeah, it's like there's so many events that like I still have to edit and it's like, it's crazy because there's some of those things would have been perfect for live stream. I'm just gonna put my shoes back on. Like, um, just a whole bunch of different things and it's uh, most of the time I just don't even bother trying. But, um, you know, I will look into it. You know, if uh, the live streams, you know, are uh, wanted, I will definitely be looking into eventually like really perfecting that. There are some solutions that requires um, a hefty investment to get it to go, so. But actually, yeah, I'd met another YouTuber at a show recently, he was live streaming, he was using one of those setups, but uh, it's like crazy. You're basically paying for like every cell phone company to have an account just for the service. It's very expensive. So I don't know. And then um, the whole thing with that is you can't really like use your phone. And the thing is I love using the phone because I like to also use Prism so I can do all these kind of, I'm not doing it right now, but I could put like overlays, I could put animations on, I could put music over it, show you guys all different things. And you kind of miss out on it with the other thing. Yeah, not a cheap journey, I know. But it's like right now, it's just the phone. It's, it's just so nice not having a hundred wires and all that. Okay, now here, let's see, regulator. You know, let's cut through this side by black fin. How are we doing on time? Time, okay, let me see, what is it? Okay, whoops. Okay, now we have the rigid hull boats. So like one hundred thirty one thousand. Seventy nine thousand. Thirty thousand. with the surfboard holders on the side. 370,000. 239,000. 
Wow, that's look at that texture on that board. It's cool. I'm just gonna put the camera down for a second and get a drink of water. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm wearing one of my progressive shirts from the prior Miami International boat shows. Let me show you over here. Okay, I don't know which one I'm turning. There we go. Yeah, I was wearing the other one uh, yesterday with the nautical flags. I have a third one, but it's too small, but it's a cute one. It says, ship happens. I was going to wear that, but it's too small a shirt. I haven't actually seen, that's one thing I'm curious to find is I haven't seen any like merchandise sections here with the, you know, like